Hello everybody and welcome back to the Semi-Crafty Vlog. As usual, check the timestamps below if you'd like to skip ahead to see something specific, otherwise we're gonna get started. So it's been a, a rough couple of weeks with my back problems and everything and the schedule got really choppy, so I apologize for all that going on and I made like a small vlog about it, but I think I've finally gotten back into the groove, hopefully. My back is feeling better because I stopped doing crafty stuff, I've rested. I rested in between filming and all that. Needless to say, this vlog is very late. It's Sunday and I'm filming just now. Anyway, the main thing we'll be doing today is making a vegetable dish in the crock pot. I thought about it and it was like, you know, I want to try something that doesn't have meat in it because I know that that can kind of be like a, you know, a thing for some people. So this dish is all veggies. I don't know if it's like vegan necessarily, but it's definitely vegetables. And it turned out really good. I made it a couple days ago, but here is that. All right. So the recipe that we're doing today is not really like so much of a recipe as it is kind of like, <sighs> I guess like a loose framework for like a vegetable, roasted vegetables in the crock pot. So it's how to roast vegetables in the slow cooker by chocolate covered Katie. Make sure I credit people. So it's basically like roasting vegetables in the slow cooker. And I thought it'd be fun to do a veggie dish. So, cause vegetables are good. I'm limited on which ones I can eat, but they're good. <laughs> the ones I can eat, I'm grateful for. So roughly it's two bell peppers, one large sweet potato, three small zucchini, garlic, and then like herbs and salt and stuff like that. So, but they say that you can like substitute some more, that you can like substitute certain vegetables for other things and all that. I didn't go with the suggestions. I kind of just did my own thing. So we have, I couldn't find, I don't know where to find small zucchini. I didn't even know that was a thing. So I have two large ones. Maybe we'll try to, I don't know, I'll figure out size and stuff. We have two uh, red bell peppers and then we have not, I'm not a fan too much of sweet potato. Like just, you know, if it's not like, cause okay, next week's thing is gonna have sweet potato in it, but it's because I think it needs it. This I think you can go without. So I've just got regular, well not regular potatoes, I've actually got. So like last week we did the little baby red potatoes. I went for, <laughs> I bought like a bag of each. The They have like those like really colorful potatoes that are like purple and blue and like gold and stuff like that. So I bought a bunch of those. For this dish, I'm gonna use specifically like, I, I've got four of the purple ones and then like the blue set had like blues and grays and yellows and stuff like that. So we're gonna have some fun colors today. I guess I'll lightly substitute the garlic with some oil. And then it says like, um, I think you can choose what oil you want. I actually have, I love sesame oil. It is one of my favorites. Let me, let me get a smell. Oh my God, yes, okay, sorry. It's just, I, I cook with this like so often whenever I'm like, you know, I mean, when it calls for it, it's not everything goes with this, but like, oh, sesame oil so good. And I love to just cook up a bunch of zucchini with like, you know, sesame oil as the base. And it's just like, oh, it's so good. And then it said like herbs of choice, salt. So I grabbed also, cause salt's good, but I also like pepper. And then I actually grabbed a little bit of thyme. I'm not gonna put any rosemary in it. We learned last time. That's just no, a little, little bit of thyme. Honestly, I mean like, I know it's probably really plain, but I do love vegetables with just like salt pepper and butter, like it's just good, I don't know. I, I'm just like, I don't know, like without instructions, I don't really know what herbs to like mix well with stuff. I mean like, I, I like them, I know that, I just don't have the knowledge of like what herbs go with what. I wish I did, that would be great, but okay. So let's get started. For the potatoes, it, the sweet potatoes, it said it wanted them to be like peeled, but I kind of like mine with the skin. I mean, I don't mind either way, but I would just, I, I the, the skin's the fun part. I'm not a pro on cutting peppers, so <laughs> I like the seeds though. I'll sprinkle the seeds in there. But yeah, you grease your crock pot and add it. So it says grease it. I was actually thinking of doing that with the garlic uh, oil. I think that would work. I don't know how to properly grease something. Okay, so the internet said to use a paper towel to grease with, so I hope that's not wrong. I apologize if it is. Remember, I'm just doing this for fun, so. Oh, it smells so garlicky. Why does that smell make me think of Anime Expo? What the heck? Like food or something. I will say this garlic oil has a really weird scent. Like I think it's something about, I don't know. It's not just like regular garlic. Oh, it's oil. Well, now that my hands are thoroughly covered in garlic oil. <laughs> That's a scent. All right, let's cut more large chunks. It's pretty big, I guess. All right. We were actually trying to grow bell peppers in the backyard, but uh, we're not the best at doing that, so it didn't work out. Maybe we'll be able to try again someday. But yeah, this is also like probably a lot simpler, just veggies, potatoes. How best to do that. But yeah, see these potatoes have like, how cool is that? I love these so much. How my knife's got like purple on it now. <laughs> I don't know if you guys can see that. Each one's a new surprise. 
like, oh, it's so yellow. How cool is that? It's so colorful. I love it. They may not be this colorful once it's finally cooked, but it's still really fun, you know? So yeah, I think the ones that I thought were blue just turned out being purple, but that's okay. We got one little red one. Yeah, our, our um, grocery store that we go to right now, it's got like just a bunch of bags of like these little colorful potatoes all like assorted. It's really cool. Okay, so I think I know why they said small zucchini. It was because I guess small zucchini are more flavorful uh, than the larger, but I don't know where to find small zucchini. Like, I don't think they have it at um, at our supermarket, so, but that's why I, I mean, I love, you know, zucchini like this anyway, so. My issue is I don't know how much of a small versus a large to use, so. Maybe we'll just eyeball it. I think one might actually be the size we need. Oh my god, the colors are so pretty! You can tell I have cooked zucchini a lot because I, I feel like cutting them is very fluid. Yeah, I think this is enough. All right, now that we've got all of the cut and mash of the way, got our lovely pot here. I'm not gonna worry about measuring the salt Oh, the pepper, I just kind of eyeball it. So it wants two tablespoons of oil. Delicious oil. Oh my God. What? It smell. I'm not even doing anything. It smells so good. What do you smell? What you're doing. It's just vegetables. I know, it's like smelling. Okay, and then I will put like that much time in. I don't want too much. Yeah, oof, awesome. Oh, it's so many colors, I love it. Maybe in the future I'll try to put like more variety of vegetables in. I could have put like, I think squash was one of the other options, which I just didn't think about that. Oh my goodness, it smells so good. I love how it looks, it's so pretty. Oh, pepper, oh. <laughs> All right, so it says to cook it for three hours on high and you stir once every hour. And we can also apparently use the broth when it's done. All right, so we've got our Veggies in there. I'm gonna put the lid on. Put it up to high. There we go. All right, so it's been three hours just about. I've been, whoo, exfoliation. But yeah, we got, now obviously they got a lot like mushier because they're cooked, but looks, I'm very excited. So let me just try one of each type of, well, that was cute. So we got a potato and a zucchini on that one. Pine is a little more salt. Ooh, that burned my tongue. Oh my god, the peppers are just like annihilated. <laughs> the zucchini is really good. The fact that I use regular, well not regular potatoes, but like not in sweet potatoes is probably why it's not as flavorful, but it's not bad though. No, I could definitely use something else, but I'm not really sure what, but I'm excited because it's just like a cool thing I can eat with like, you could put this over like rice or I don't know, eat it with like some meat um, mixed in and all that. I'm actually probably gonna cook up a really quick, just like a, a beef patty or something and like mix it into a bowl of this. Yay, vegetable. All right, so now that it's a couple days later, I'm actually eating the last of that. Actually, it went pretty quick. I, I ate it quickly because I didn't want it to go bad, but I have actually like tested out mixing it with different stuff. I haven't eaten it just by itself because I've, you know, wanted to eat it as a meal type of thing or with food. So like the first day I ended up mixing it with ground beef from like a beef patty, which was really good. And I also put teriyaki sauce and I also sprinkled seaweed on top, which was really nice. Uh, and then that's the thing. Okay, so when I, and I don't remember if this is on camera, but when I finished the dish, I put like a big chunk of butter in it just because I like buttery vegetables and it because like the original recipe was like oh you can take the broth and like use it for something else but when I put the butter in it made the broth kind of sludgy so I was like you know what? I'm just gonna keep that in the vegetable dish because it just seems like might as well but it'll make it nice and like buttery flavored for later and then I also tried the vegetables with rice which was really good although I would say the ratio of rice needs to match the ratio of veggies because I put too few veggies and it was a lot of rice and I'm just like oh it's kind of you know it was so good I just ran out of veggies and I was like well no there's just rice but it's fine and right now I'm eating it again with uh, the ground beef I've also got some mac and cheese from uh, our other adventure as for the soup or the stew I ended up letting my dad have the rest because I just wasn't really feeling it there's I, I would like to make that again but like modify a couple things. Uh, currently I'm not wearing makeup because I'm eating, so sorry if that bugs you. Also, I'm kind of on a time crunch because this is late. So because this vlog got a little late, uh, I'm probably not gonna be doing as much crafting today as much as I might be more talking. There's one thing I wanna try though. And also I did do some crochet over the week. I just still haven't finished that. I, I've gotten like maybe halfway through the second row of that trim, but then of course my back started hurting, so. Um, there is one thing I did make. I thought about this a little while back because I've seen people make like yarn hair that they wear on like, you know, like, like really cool stuff. Um, I've always wanted to do something like that, except not necessarily like, because I know a lot of people do like dreadlock type thing. I wasn't really looking to do that. I was just like, I just wanted to put like yarn on like a, a headband as like a fun little cute accessory. So I went ahead and, and took a headband and put some yarn on it. 
just for fun. I don't know, this is like a prototype, I'm just messing around with it, but it's kind of cool because I can like, I can like put it on and maybe like do like braid, like, you know, like large braids or something like that or just sit it and, you know, make it like a, like funky pigtails or something. It's like doll hair, you know, it's kind of cool. These, actually these rainbow uh, yarns were from, I don't know if you guys remember, a long time ago. I used to wear like these like bead things in my hair that had like yarn or feathers or whatever. I just, I don't know why. I just liked wearing them back then, but they're just kind of a hassle to put in, and they don't really stand very well, so like, maybe that's just my hair, I don't know, but I ended up taking the large rainbow one I made, and these are actually the, the yarns from that, and I took the beads too and just glued it onto here, and I can just put it on and take it off. So we'll see what that ends up doing, but it's just, this is just me fooling around. And it's funny too, because while I was making this, I was actually catching up on YouTube stuff, because like, okay, you guys remember Unisonis ended on the 13th. And prior to that, I had been watching like almost nothing but Unisana's videos, especially in the last like three weeks. So I was behind on so many other YouTube channels that I follow. So I've been spending the last couple days like just spamming all the stuff that's new into my brain. And the great, the Game Grumps have started playing Danganronpa, which they started a while back. I don't really know much about it except one of my close friends like loves Danganronpa. So I've only seen like his cosplays and everything, but it's kind of funny because uh, I was working on this while I was binging all those episodes, so it makes me think of that, which is just really funny. Yeah, I just thought this would be like a fun little accessory to wear occasionally. And maybe I'll make more different color schemes, different styles, whatever. I don't really know exactly what I'm gonna do with all of them, but we'll see. Uh, I wanted to brush them out, because these are just these are just straight up yarn strands. Like, it's just yarn. I wanted to brush them out to look more like hair, but I don't know if that will work, so we'll see. The other thing, so as we finished last week, I wanted to try, or I, I, I made the, you know, the attachments, which they look great, but I want to try something, a method I've been thinking up, to cover up this string. So I might be playing with that later, otherwise, yeah, it's gonna be a pretty low-key day. As for these, so one of my Instagram neutrals pointed me to looking on Etsy for gold belt buckles, which I didn't even, I was like, oh my god, Etsy, of course, <laughs> like, I didn't even think about that. I found one set through the link that she sent me, but they're a little bit small. I haven't ordered them because I'm like, oh, I don't know what the, like, they're like 31 millimeters, which I think is like maybe three quarters of this, which I think this is about the size that we want. I don't want to go any smaller. So if I can find a gold set, I would rather use that. So we, we might have to pause on these, but right now we're not going to work on it because, like I said, I'm, you know, time crunch. My own fault. But, like, I'll keep these for something else because I don't think I can return them at this point. And whatever. They're just cool bell buckles. Okay, so a new thing that's really cool. I have actually gone ahead and acquired a subscription to Adobe, like all the, you know, programs. I've been using, like, outdated Adobe programs that I had from, like, back in the day, but they don't have video editing software and I really felt stifled by Lightworks, which I mean, Lightworks is great if you want to do like the stuff I've been doing, which isn't like bad, but I, there's more I wanted to do and I'm like, I just, I feel like I need to get more professional software, but what, you know, what do I get? And I, I like, I researched and looked and it's like all of the editors that I enjoy, like their stuff, use Adobe Premiere. So I'm like, I'm gonna go with Adobe Premiere. And I actually edited my first video last night. And it was the unboxing video that's um, like the November tease one. You can put a card. <laughs> and that, like, okay, as silly as it sounds, a video like that could take up to seven hours to edit on Lightworks. Took me four with looking up tutorials on how to how to like actually use Premiere because I've never used it before. I know the basics of video editing, but I'm like, but this software is new, so I don't know. And it's just like, you know, the layout is really good, and of course it's fast. And like, like I said, Lightworks, because it's, it's, it's free, or at least there's a free version. It, it works if you, you know, don't want to or can't afford to buy like huge software type of thing, which I totally get. That's the reason why I didn't have it for a while. It got to the point where I was spending so much time making, like, editing videos, because and I don't know if it's just my version or my computer or whatever, but Lightworks just was so slow and it froze a lot and it was like, all right, I need to... S and then I didn't have access to some of the tools that I wanted. So from now on, my videos should be done in Adobe Premiere. So I'll be able to add new cool effects to them. Not necessarily like, like effects, graphics, but whatever, but like just like more fun things that I wanted to do and just, it's just quicker and the layout is great. It's, it was just much like, like I shaved off three hours of work so that was like saying something, and uh, it's just pretty, yeah. I just, I, there's still more I have to learn, but I at least learned, like, the basics of what I need to know, like cutting a clip and changing, like, audio and stuff like that. Yeah, I was actually able to get a good video out, so that was pretty cool. 
And it's so funny because like one of the things I've wanted to do for the longest time, you guys have seen when I do, here I'll show an example, like a quick zoom like that. Well, Lightworks doesn't have, or at least for, for mine, the options to use keyframes were locked. And I think that's because it, you have to buy like the upgraded software or whatever, or the official software. But now that I have Premiere, I can do this kind of a zoom. I know that's silly. It's a, it's a slow, gradual zoom, but I haven't been able to do that. And it's something that I feel like so many times I've wanted to use a slow zoom and have not been able to. And that can like, it's so weird how video editing can be that simple and yet something like that can be more funny or more entertaining or more eye-catching. Cause like the amount of times in like, like for example, Unis Honest, like great editing, like all the editors did a wonderful job on that show series, whatever you call it, channel. <laughs> but like even simple little things like that where it's like a little zoom and it's like like while someone's like thinking or you know like, something like that is just funnier because it's like oh you know kind of thing. So it's like just little things like that and of course as I explore the software more I'm sure I'm gonna get into more like advanced stuff and I'm so I'm excited about that. I'm not new at all to Adobe software obviously it's just the video editing software is what I'm new to. It's just like like Photoshop and Illustrator. Oh my gosh I know those in and out. I use them daily. I used to know InDesign pretty good too because I was using that for school, but I kind of stopped using it because I'm like, eh, I'll use it if I need a layout, but most of the time I'm just drawing or working on like, I, I use Illustrator for like maps, like a lot of the times for like Minecraft and stuff like that, like usually if I'm drawing a map and then I'm making it in Minecraft. And then I use Photoshop for like drawing and stuff, which I'm trying to like move away from because um, I know that there's other software out there that's better for like digital drawing type of thing. Of course, I also want to get a better tablet that's like, my tablet's good, but I want to get one that you can like see the screen as you draw on it kind of thing. I don't have that. Um, I feel like that would make my line work way better because I'm like, I'm like, I'm, I have this tablet in front of me and I'm looking up at the screen moving my, like like you're moving a mouse but it's like just so janky like to figure that out and I'm just like I, I, I want something I can see when I'm drawing because when I do hand work like hand drawing on paper it's like easy you know it's like oh I got this. there's of course sometimes I, I need to tweak things but it's like well okay my proportions aren't great but thanks to computers I can fix that anyway so next week's food item obviously next week is Thanksgiving I originally was going to make a Thanksgiving themed crock-pot meal like I was gonna do like like Thanksgiving dinner in a crock-pot but every recipe I've found is just not really what I want and I, and then one point I was like oh I could just do leftovers and I'm like they're already cooked though like why would I crock-pot that like it's silly so I was just looking for whatever I could on like this one site that was like the 15 top crock-pot Thanksgiving dishes or whatever and they were all individual dishes like oh here's making mashed potatoes here's like a turkey thing here's like this casserole and I'm like that's not really what I'm, I'm looking for like this has like turkey stuffing mashed potatoes like all of the all the works in it and I don't know if that exists but I just thought that'd be fun but then I came across a dish that is an apple cider like pot roast and I was like whoa wait I want to try that so Next week, I'm gonna be making an apple cider pot roast. And I'm really excited about that because like, I love apple cider, I love apple everything. It'll be the first time I've used sweet potatoes though, so that'll be like kind of weird. And parsnips, I've never actually even seen a parsnip before. And this recipe calls for that and I'm like, what's a parsnip? I've heard of it. What is a parsnip? So I went and looked and it's like, it's almost like a beige or like a pale carrot kind of thing. So I'm like, okay, cool. But then, uh, so how I'm gonna do the vlog next week is probably, if possible, I, I'm not guaranteeing it, but I might film me and my mom in the kitchen making food, like a time lapse kind of thing, just for fun. And then after that, do my pot roast and whatever other crafts I'm working on. Um, this coming week is gonna have a lot of unboxing videos because now that I'm able to edit and edit quickly, uh, I, <laughs> I have a bunch of unboxing videos I have stacked up. Like, I just posted the November Sips By unboxing. I filmed that, like, two weeks ago. Unis Honest was still around, you know? Like, that's how, that, like, how long ago it was. No. But, um, I still have the pumpkin box. I haven't even filmed this yet. Cause I, I was like, oh, I'll get to that in like a week. And I was just like, uh. And then I also still have the next snack crate unboxing video to edit and post. So this week I'm probably gonna be posting a lot of those just to catch up because the snack crate is not the November snack crate, it's the October snack crate because it got stuck in customs. So so that's the October video and I feel really bad that it's so late. Cause I'm probably, if my snack crate for this month hasn't gotten stuck somewhere, I'm probably gonna get it in the next couple days. So I'm like, oh, <laughs> I gotta get that one out first. Cause I don't want just a sleuth of unboxing videos and you guys would be like, what the heck, Lindsay? Like, post something else, you know? I will be filming some Subnautica this week and I have some Sly Coopers stacked up, so that's good. And as for next week's crafts, I'm not really sure. Maybe I will get to doing the moons for the buckles, but we'll see. Cause I don't think I'll be able to do any shopping this week because it's a holiday week and 
you know, places get really packed and it's like, even if I'm going to like a dollar store, I still just don't want to deal with a crowd. It's like, ugh. And we're getting closer to Christmas too, so it's like, oh great. All right, I'm gonna continue eating. I'm gonna probably watch some Game Grumps because they posted another Dang and Rapa episode. I, it's fun, like watching them play Dang and Rapa is really great. I don't know if I would play it myself. It is very, it's very reminiscent of Phoenix Wright, but I don't know. It. I mean, it, it's it's like, it's, I got like really invested. I'm just uh, really annoyed that the first character I got like attached to ended up being the killer. So I'm like, great. Or in the, it, not like overall, but like in the first like chapter or whatever, I'm just like, really? So that was kind of disappointing, but it's been really, cause they're, when they did Phoenix Wright, the Game Grumps, it was hilarious with the way that like they talk and they'll ad lib stuff and it's just, or like, you know, or uh, improv things or whatever. And it's just so hilarious. So I'm gonna, eat and watch that and then I will get to the thing I'm gonna try. Okay, so now that I've finished eating, I'm gonna try something. So the idea I had for this, I don't even know if this is gonna work, but I wanna cover this in maybe duct tape. Duct tape is like a way that you can kind of get around doing paper mache if you choose to. I've actually done it before on, so I, I at one point in time, I cosplayed uh, Eric Slingby from the, he's he's a Black Butler character, but he's from um, like one of the musicals, not really the show, I don't think. I've lost track of all that stuff, but uh, he has a saw, which is his weapon. And I had gotten so, you know, behind in working on my cosplay that I literally made his saw in the hotel room like the night before and I used duct tape instead of because I didn't have paper mache and I don't have time obviously I used duct tape to like have like a texture and then just paint it over it didn't look great you can still see the lines but it was like it covered the foam as it needed and all that so since we've already paper mache these thoroughly and it's all pretty much almost done I figured what I would do is take some duct tape in white because that's what we use, because uh, I'll, I'll probably prime it anyway, but like everything beneath it was relatively pretty pale, just so I can kind of match the consistency, I guess. But I'm gonna wrap it over the, the fishing line and then paint it and all that and try to doctor it up to look like it blends in. You'll still see a bump, but I just want to get rid of these, these, the, um, the strings. It just bugs me. So I'm gonna try on this one because it's the smaller one. And I'm not gonna use like a whole giant chunk. I'm gonna use like a thin strip because you can, you can do that. So let's see if this works. That size it might be a little bit. Because we are dealing with round shapes, it might be a little bit strange, but we'll do what we can. So like that. Now if this doesn't work, it doesn't work. Now what I want to do is cover it in like the same, like the paper mache glue, then prime it. So yeah, basically we'll take this and, cause this, because I did it in the, the order I did it in, this will kind of like substitute what the paper mache would have probably done in the beginning if we'd put the string down before we'd sealed it up. Sandwiched it in basically. Cause it's not like we need the duct tape to like hold it together. It's already glued on. So similar to the way that I did the the um, the priming and like painting and stuff. I'm gonna put a layer of glue over this. Then I'm gonna prime it. And then I'm gonna put another layer because that was the same method done with this. And then I'll paint it gold and we will see how that looks. I don't know if I'll get it done tonight. We'll see. Alright guys, so it's getting late and uh, I have to edit this by tomorrow because I want to get it out. Um, so as far as we've gotten, we've gotten to a layer of gesso. So as you can see, I'm basically, I've covered it with some glue and now I'm covering it with gesso. The other side looks like this because I haven't got to it yet. But it's got glue on it, which I guess you can't see anymore, which is good actually. So what I'm going to do is, we're going to continue this. I'm going to go ahead and try, try, to get it done throughout the week. That way it's ready for next weekend um, and we can see the result, but I'll re I'll film myself making it and we'll see if it works. If it works, I will do that to the rest of them. Maybe even if, if I discover that it works, I might even just do it and then show you guys the result, but it'll you'll still see it. But like right now I don't have the time, unfortunately. And I've, I've tried to do some more crochet, but alas, my back has started hurting. I need to get, and yeah, one, uh, one of you guys agreed on the vlog I posted about my back. I need to get a chair. I really need a chair in here because I'm sitting on a bed and it's got, I've got no back support and it's very close to this table. I need a good chair. So we'll see about how that ends up doing. So if it gets worse, the craft vlog may have to like take a break. I really don't want to do that though because I like doing this. It's just, we might have to like, just like stop for a bit until I can actually like figure something out. But for now, I don't think it'll be too big of a deal because I was able to do some other stuff and it wasn't a problem. But. And we'll see if I can get more crochet done. I'll probably, if I do, I might sit in the living room or something like in a nice chair that's good. All right, so 
Next week is Thanksgiving, and as you guys heard, I'm probably gonna like try to film us cooking. If not, then just whatever else we're doing. But there'll still be a crock pot meal. That was another thing about choosing the beef thing that I was gonna make, is that I'm going to make, is, and my mom and I were talking about this, and it's like, we don't want more turkey and more Thanksgiving food, so it's like, maybe a dish that's not that is better, so it's like, okay, cool. All right, everyone, so this week might be a good deal of unboxing videos, hopefully not too many, um, and hopefully I can get at least one Let's Play out. So I hope you guys are all doing well. Remember to please stay home and stay safe um, for the holidays, just because it's it's just too risky right now to go anywhere. Hopefully you can find ways to celebrate the holidays you celebrate in other ways that, you know, keep you safe and all that. I am, of course, <laughs> staying home as I usually do. In any case, uh, thank you guys for watching. Make sure to check the other videos, and I've got them linked at the end, and I've got other links in the cards and stuff, and, you know, there's unboxing and let's plays and maybe a couple other things here and there on my channel. So I will see you guys next time and until then, stay with me. It's like something I've tasted at a convention, like, I don't know. Oh, it's really good. I really like that. But I can't think of... I don't know if I've tasted it in like a, like a restaurant.